I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, total aplasia of the paranasal sinuses. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 25-year-old female presenting with chronic persistent mild headaches. The patient reports a few seizures in the last two years. On CT, we can appreciate widened diploic spaces with ground glass matrix and intact cortical outlines in the visualized skull. There is absent pneumatization of all the paranasal sinuses, including the frontal, the ethmoid, the sphenoid, and the maxillary, suggesting their total aplasia. There are also numerous unerupted maxillary teeth. There are great structural variations of the paranasal sinuses. The detailed structure of the paranasal sinuses can be seen using CT scan. They can reveal various aeration differences ranging from normal formation to total aplasia. Sphenoidal sinus aplasia is extremely rare. Unilateral frontal sinus aplasia is present in 15% and bilateral is seen in 5%. Maxillary sinus hypoplasia is well known, but its aplasia is extremely rare. 1.7 to 10.4% of patients with sinonasal symptoms are reported to have maxillary sinus hypoplasia.